what I want to look at is how do we translate when I'm on the road that that mindset of boom, 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 one thing after another. Like, it's almost like the more busy you can be, the more stuff that you will get done because you prioritize, you time block, you're, you're just squeezing every single minute out of every day. How can we get that and translate that into our everyday work life? wanted to show you really you know what does the hustle look like on a daily basis so you know when I'm in full sales mode and I'm on the road traveling what does that look like what I can tell you is there's nothing glamorous about it at all it's all about efficiency it's all about <clears throat> being able to keep the diet on point and um, <laughs> and just squeezing every ounce out of every single hour of the day what I've found is that you make time for the things that are important in your life. And if you make a decision that your body is important to you, then you'll find a way to work it in. It doesn't matter if it's eight o'clock at night or six o'clock in the morning, uh, you'll find a way to make it work. You have plenty of time. The key to time management is staying in charge. So you have to control your calendar. Your calendar will master you. We've all had those days where we have the best of intentions. Uh, we have a goal, you know, goal set out. We've got a plan of our day, and we start out, and it's all going well. Mm -hmm. We're working on a project, and then this little distraction here, this little interruption here, and the next thing you know, you turn around and day's you've gone. Completely lost it. Yeah, day's completely gone. Completely lost yep. it. And so that's 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 the key is is staying in charge. And what that typically looks like is just taking a step back every now and then, taking a step back and saying, okay, what what am I doing right now? Literally, like, what am I doing right now? Yep. And how does that relate to what I'm supposed to accomplish today? Let me give you a little idea of what I'm talking about here. So stop for lunch. So what does that usually mean when someone says, hey, I gotta, I'm gonna go take a break for lunch. Well, what that usually means is that they're gonna leave for you know, an hour, hour and a half. They're gonna go sit down at a restaurant. They're gonna go eat a bunch of crap. And then they're gonna you know, mosey their way back to the office. Well, I can show you what lunch means to me. Power skillet which this may look absolutely horrible to you, but uh, you know, it is what it is. So we got lean ground beef, black beans over top of a sweet potato. So, you know, but I will literally eat this in three minutes and I will be on to the next meeting. I was up at four o'clock this morning. I was on the road by 4.30. Um, I've already been in, I've had, let's see, five group meetings already today, met with, I think, 32 people. I think I've written like 25 uh, life insurance policies already today. And so if we think about it in our own lives, we have to figure out what's blocking our capacity, because we all have capacity, mental capacity. We all have, you call it capacity, but you might as well call it potential. And the reality is, the majority of the world, the majority of us are operating at 30, 40 percent of our capacity. And so why is that? Uh, it's all these things that we're allowing into our life to distract us, to, um, it's the, these things that we continue to let cause that chaos like we talked about earlier. So we allow all these things to just steal from us. 